this secret hack that apple doesn't want you to know what if i told you there is a way to transfer files from your iphone to your desktop to a pc easier than it is to transfer from your iphone to your mac there is a way like that many people don't know it i want to share it with you i have been using this for the last few years and it has helped me a lot because i have to transfer a lot of footage and things like that onto the desktop it is flawless it is faster than transferring it to the mac at times so that's how good this system works and i will teach you how to do it so just follow along without further ado let's get into the video the only thing that you need is you have to have a wi-fi network at home so you have to have a wi-fi router and your desktop and the iphone should be on the same network that is the only thing you need for this method to work so the first thing you have to do is on your pc i am not setting up the screen recording and everything because this is a very quick step so create a folder any place you want it could be on the desktop i chose to do it inside a drive so i'm going to put it inside this c drive and right now you can see i've already created something called apple import but for the purposes of this tutorial i am going to create a new folder and let's name it something i am naming it apple import test hit enter and next thing what you're going to do is you are going to go into properties so click on properties let me get this up here so properties go to sharing first thing you're going to do is hit on share so share and this has to be shared to me so share as soon as that is done that step is done next thing what you have to do is go to advanced sharing just make sure that this is checked so share this folder apple import test that is checked sometimes this doesn't get checked and then you won't find this folder the final step on the desktop is go into start and go into cmd cmd that is command prompt just type in cmd command prompt and here what you're going to do is just you need to find the ip of your computer so i p c o n f i g you can see this ip config i just hit enter here is uh, in this case my ip is 192.168.0.110 this number is what you need to access don't worry you don't have to remember this all the time this is only for one time you have to remember this so just write this down somewhere if you forget numbers just write this down this is the number that you want so this is what you have to do on the pc side sorry about all the mess on the table here but anyways the next step is on your iphone so what you're going to do is just open up your files as you can see this is already here how did i get here so all you have to do is click the three dots here you're going to select connect to server in the connect to server you're going to put smb colon forward slash and this is the ip address that you had this is only one time you have to do this after that you will have it saved in your recent servers so this is the number for your specific computer that you want to access if you have multiple computers you can also access uh, access them by creating you know a list here this is the only desktop that i access from my iphone so that's why i use this so what you're going to do is as soon as you hit that you will have the option to go into it after this you have the option to go there as a registered user so what you're going to do is in this you are going to just go and type your username and password so let me just do that for a second so after you have done that just hit on next and you can see the old apple import which i used to use and then even the new folder has shown up here so all you have to do is now it's very simple you already know it you have to take the files this is always available in your home page in the files app now so all you have to do is just select any file you want you can copy it 
and transfer it to this one so just copy it and just like you take it from your iDrive or from your phone you're just going to go here go into this folder and just paste it that's it as a test I will show you how I'm copying this file so this is just a random file I'm going to do and you're going to select copy go back to your home and then I'm going to go into my desktop take this and I'm going to hit paste here so just go and paste you can see those files are being copied and it is transferring very quickly now when the transfer is happening don't let your phone go into idle because for some reason the files app if it is not there in the foreground and it the screen is not on automatically it stops the transfer so that is the only thing that you have to look at but this transfers even large files like 1 2 gig files 3 gig files even 5 gig files have transferred it within minutes it depends on how fast your router is this thing has been very fast for me once you are done just hit this icon here the eject icon just eject that and that thing will go every time you connect to your uh, if you want to transfer just go here connect to server connect here and just follow the steps like that and that's how you get your files transfer every time you have to do that but in one session as soon as the uh, computer shows up here then you don't have to again you know add it once it is there it's there even the footage for this video I'm going to transfer it right now so save to files go back here because it's actually opening up one of my iClouds now after that you are going to go into this Apple import and I am going to save it here you can see all of the files are being transferred right now so these files are being pasted so till this thing is pasted there just keep this open just don't let the screen die so I am not going to let the screen go into idle because this is the only weakness here for some reason Apple uh, files stops the transfer as soon as the phone goes into idle so this is transferring very fast as you can see these are all 4k footages but it is transferring so fast and large files about one or two gigs they're transferring this quickly so that is good in my experience this has been more reliable than even nearby share on android side and it works flawlessly the only thing is you have to always when it is idle you just have to connect it once to your desktop using that uh, connection thing once that is done it works flawlessly i've transferred very large files obviously large 4k files cinematic files i've transferred and it has no issues the only annoying thing is you have to keep the phone uh, on that is you have to keep the phone screen on it shouldn't go into standby and that's easy just you know just keep scrolling or keep thumbing on the phone uh, that's not hard uh, it doesn't take a long time to transfer so that has been good on nearby share it is not as effective as this one so this is a very easy way to do it i hope that this clears your doubts if you have any questions did you like the video did you like using this way just tell me about it whatever you want like share subscribe this has been jace for top i'll see you in the next video